Hi, this is David with an update on Clock 4 Chronogram. Um, with me here is prototype number four from Seed Studio. Uh, this is very close to the final production version, minus the sides. Uh, we weren't able to get the sides to acceptable quality level, so we're going to leave the clock open in the final production version. But as you can see, it's 28 centimeters squared. On the back, we've got smoked acrylic plastic. Uh, you can just make out the circuit board underneath. Uh, the interface, we've got two buttons, one for color, one for mode. Uh, there is a reset button on the back should you need to reset the clock for any reason. Uh, we also have the power adapter, uh, power socket on the back of the clock. Now, if you would like to mount it on a wall, there are keyholes um, punched into the back plastic so you can uh, put a screw or a nail in the wall and hang the clock there. And all you need to do is unscrew the power socket and then um, just have the power cable coming out the bottom of the clock. Now I'm going to plug in power. First thing you'll see is the clock goes through a power up message saying chronogram. And then go straight into time mode. Uh, and I'm going to show you seconds mode. By pressing the mode button, it takes you directly to seconds. And again, uh, it takes you back to time mode. Now, cycling through the colors, this is all white color mode. If you press and hold the color button, it takes you to the color selection wheel. Now, if you're trying to match the text on the clock to any particular color, you simply wait until the color you want is displayed on the screen. Here, we'll wait for a nice red and then you let go and the clock takes on that color. The next mode is a slow color fade. Uh, it's a bit, a bit difficult to see on the video, but the colors are slowly fading between every available color. The next mode is rainbow color fade, where you have all of the colors displayed on the clock at once and they slowly cycle through. This is my favorite mode. And for a bit of fun, we've got party mode where it just cycles through random colors for each independent letter. Pressing mode again, sorry, color, will take you right back to white color mode. Uh, now let me demonstrate how you set the time. I'm going to press and hold the mode button on the back for two seconds. Clock says set H. And you simply press the color button to increment the hours. And then the mode button to take you to minutes. And again, you can increment it or press and hold it to scroll through quickly. And then finally, when you're done, you press mode and you're done. And it shows you the new time. Now, the last thing I'll show you is the power adapter. The power adapter is here with the Australian or Chinese power plug, but it comes with a number of different adapters. So you can literally pop on a US adapter um, European UK adapter. It should one uh, power adapter will work everywhere, well, most places in the world. There you go. Thanks for watching.